it's Rebecca. Today, we're gonna to make all the vanilla things. So I get my vanilla beans from a company called Injury Vanilla, and they send them in these cute little packages. And it's, a, it's actually a Facebook group that I belong to, and it's a co-op. And so they have amazing vanilla beans. They're gonna be nice and fresh. I'm gonna link them in the description. They're amazing. So I ordered 10 ounces of beans, and this is what 10 ounces of beans looks like. And they're sealed in this package, and they arrived yesterday. So let's use them up today. I'm gonna to make vanilla paste. So vanilla paste is great when you're waiting for your vanilla extract to, to extract. It takes, it takes quite a while for that to happen. So in the meantime, you can make vanilla paste and you can actually use that completely like in a one-to-one -one ratio to recipes that call for vanilla extract. So I have the ingredients ready and I'm gonna just put them together and show you how it works. I'm going to be posting the recipe in the description below, but I will also put it on the screen for you. So I'm going to start with four ounces of vanilla beans. Now I did pre-weigh these. I have a scale here that I like to use. I'm saving these ones here for the extract. And I'm just gonna chop these up. Now you don't have to chop these up, but I think it's gonna make the process a lot easier because ultimately we're going to be putting these in the Vitamix and the finer they are to start with, the easier they're going to be to grind up. So these are, as you saw, these are the fresh beans that I just got yesterday and they smell amazing. You know, you go to your post box and oh my goodness, it just smells so wonderful in there. I'm sure the, my postal delivery person was wondering what was in there. I'm going to put this in my pan. So that was four ounces of vanilla beans. The next ingredient is six ounces of water, which I pre-weighed out. And add that to it and 16 ounces of sugar again that's something I pre-weighed we're gonna add that and two ounces of corn syrup so I've decided to use vodka which is usually what I end up using <laughs> I actually went to the liquor store yesterday thinking I was going to buy rum but I don't know I just ended up buying vodka instead um, I don't actually drink alcohol myself, so I get in the liquor store and it's always, there's so much choice and I never know what to buy. And I ended up buying um, vanilla flavored vodka. So I thought I'm making vanilla from it. I may as well start with some vanilla essence. And now we're adding 12 ounces of vodka. You can use the alcohol of your choice. It can be rum, it could be bourbon, uh, it could be almost anything. Okay, so we have this mixed together and we're going to put it on our stovetop and we're going to simmer it. And we are going to simmer this until all the sugar is dissolved and then it's going to go in our Vitamix. I might actually simmer it for a few minutes, we'll see how I feel. We are going to thicken it with xanthan gum. I did want to add that adding the corn syrup to your paste is to keep it from crystallizing. You know, you don't want it to get all crystallized. It's nicer when it's a smooth running paste. Mm, a bit of, you know, like, like a syrup. That's what you're looking for. I'm just going to let it continue to do its thing here for a couple of minutes. Okay, now that the first part of our recipe has cooled down a little bit, I'm going to pour it in the Vitamix and then we're going to process it until it's nice and smooth. Gonna be sure to scrape out all the little vanilla beans stuck to the side. I don't wanna waste any of that goodness. Sorry to interrupt your video. I just wanted to let you know that we are doing a draw for a $500 in-store credit giveaway. The draw is going to be August 9th and details on how to enter are in the description. Hope you win. So this is looking great. You can see the consistency. We do want it to be a little thicker though, so we're going to use xanthan gum to thicken it. I just picked this up on Amazon, looks like so. And I'll link that in the description too. I'll link everything I have here that I'm using in the description. And I'm gonna add it super slowly because it likes to clump up. I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon and I'm gonna add it super slowly while it's blending. There we have it. Now we are going to pour it in. Okay. 
Okay, and there you have it, vanilla paste. I'm gonna get a fresh spoon and I'm going to just taste it. Look at that, oh, it's beautiful. I don't really want that much. Oh yeah, that was the good stuff. It's already amazing. I'm gonna let it sit for about a week before I start actually using it though. But it apparently is perfectly fine. It certainly tastes perfectly fine to use right now. Mm, yeah, that's good. So this was the Alex Green recipe that I used and you can find that in the Injury Vanilla group again on Facebook, but I'll post the recipe in the description. I wanted to show you the bottle of vanilla extract that I started. Actually, I started this two years ago and after about a year and a half, I decanted it into other bottles and then I refilled it. So it's been about six months. I'm gonna see if you can, you can see like, it. A, it's full, 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 full of beans, but it's already pretty dark. I think we could go ahead and use this. So this vanilla is actually double fold. Double fold means I've used twice the recommended amount of beans to the amount of vanilla. So the rule of thumb when making vanilla extract, and this is to meet like FDA requirements, is one cup of alcohol to one ounce of beans. So for this, I used, per one cup of alcohol, I used two ounces of beans. So that makes it double fold, which is double strength. You know, then if the recipe calls for two teaspoons, you only need to use one. But if you're a beanie like me, you're still gonna use two, okay. So um, today I've decided to use cherry vanilla, or sorry, cherry vodka to make my extract with. I'm hoping it's going to add an interesting flavor. Cherry is one of my very favorite flavors. So I'm hoping to have a cherry vanilla flavored extract. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna move this to the side. Again, this could not be more simple. You can, as you can see, with this one, I added the vanilla beans straight in there. You can see they're whole vanilla beans. So if I need vanilla caviar for something, I can just pop one of them out, cut it open, take out the caviar. It actually does take longer to extract with this method though. So today I'm going to slice my beans open and put them in my container. I've chosen this jar. I'm going to slice them open, cut them up a little bit and put them in here and it's going to extract a lot faster. So I'm going to measure out two and a half cups of vodka. Again, you can use any alcohol you like. It does not need to be vodka. It does definitely not need to be flavored. To that, I'm going to add five ounces of vanilla beans. And I'm going to cut these up and open them up. I'm also going to cut them in half because they'll fit in my jar better that way. Sometimes I have, if I don't want to cut them, I'll just tie them in a little knot like this. That way I don't have a cut bean and it'll fit in a smaller jar more easily. It just looks like a little pretzel. But today I'm cutting them all open. And now I'm going to add all of these beans to this jar. I'm just going to pour the alcohol in on top. Now I do want my vanilla beans to be fully submerged. So I'm gonna poke these few in here down. Perfect. We don't want them to mold at all. So we're gonna keep them fully submerged and we're gonna shake this every day for a little while. And then we are going to shake it once a week and then we're gonna shake it as often as we can remember. You can see that it's see-through. So, I mean, it's clear, it's clear. It won't be clear for long. I'll be shaking this every day. And eventually it's going to look like this, not clear. So what I do with my vanilla bean extract is I pop it in my kombucha cupboard and I make kombucha once a week. So I'm always in and out of that cupboard. So I make sure I give, every time I have been there, I give these guys a shake and um, this vanilla bean extract will take, I mean, I like to leave it for a year and a half. That's ideal. 
Hey, I just wanted to let you know, in the video, I said it takes about 18 months for the extraction to work or for it to be fully extracted. But that was true, in fact. When I made my first batch, I used whole beans. I didn't want to cut them. I just put them in whole and it took forever. But with this batch, as you saw in the video here, I cut these and like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is so much darker. I cannot believe how well it has extracted already in only a week. So I'm going to say this is going to be ready in six months. There's no way it's going to be a year and a half. I mean, there's nothing wrong with letting it sit for longer. In fact, I probably will, but I think it's going to be fully amazing in six months. Maybe while you're waiting, you can just make vanilla paste as we've shown you and you can have use that in the meantime. I also wanted to talk briefly about um, using not alcohol because like I mentioned, we don't drink alcohol in this house. So we, when I first started making vanilla extract, I bought vegetable glycerin, which is an alternative to alcohol. Now it's not a true extraction. This is similar to an extraction, but you actually need alcohol to pull out the vanilla. So I did make this uh, almost two years ago now. And at first I was really, I did not like it at all. But now that it's been two years, it's actually pretty good. So it is a good alternative. I did it the exact same way. One cup of uh, vegetable glycerin to one ounce of vanilla beans. And these ones I did cut up a little bit. Actually, I don't think I did. Maybe I just tied them in knots. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's 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 still not as dark as it, I would like it, but it's actually really, really tasty. Uh, so that's a good alternative. At first, I really, I really discounted it and thought it was terrible, but after two years, it's actually awesome. And there we have it. From 10 ounces of vanilla beans, we got four cups of vanilla sugar, two cups of vanilla salt, almost four cups of vanilla paste, and two and a half cups of vanilla extract. So I'll be using these for probably the next couple of years, maybe some of it even longer. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you make lots of vanilla stuff. Let me know in the comments. Thanks. Bye for now.